David. Just stay there, okay? All right. Yeah. It's changed our lives irrevocably. I love you, David. Normally, you mark the milestones of your life in the birth of your children when they graduate from high school and they go to college and things like that. But for us now, we divide our lives in the days before David died and the days after. It was a beautiful day in early June. I was sitting out on the deck reading a book and the phone rang. The mother of one of David's friends said, David's been here at the house. He was here earlier today swimming. There's been a problem. The paramedics are here working on him. But she said, I need you to know they've not been able to revive him yet. His older brother Josh and I got in the car. Somehow I found my way to the house. And as Josh and I got out of the car, we were walking up to the house and there were paramedics wheeling David out on a gurney, trying to artificially help him breathe. And the first thing that I noticed were that David's feet were blue. We ended up in the room where they were working on David, and there was a whole team of paramedics and nurses, doctors who were working on him. I could tell from the look in their eyes that they were saying, we can't keep doing this, we can't keep going on. So Josh and I looked at each other and asked the team to stop. And they stopped working on David. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. But I knew it was, it was too late and there was nothing more to be done.